What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Carrasco v Niang. This is the second episode of this series and I'm super excited to resume our progress in Division 10. Now I want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched the first episode of this series uploaded yesterday morning. But if you didn't see that episode, what are you doing watching this episode? Go back and watch the first episode of the series where I discuss all the rules and all the details of this series. But thank you for all the support in episode number one. I really do appreciate it. Uh, one thing to note though, right in the first episode, I made an error. Uh, lots of you guys were pointing out that Carrasco was wearing the captain's armband in the game where he scored two goals. And a lot of you guys were suggesting I should have given him double points for that. Carrasco may have worn the armband, but that's only because I forgot to take it off him as he was auto assigned the armband when I put him in the squad first. He wasn't actually the captain for the game, even though he was wearing the captain's armband, if that makes sense. So you were right for pointing it out, he was wearing the armband armband but I didn't make him captain pre-game hence why he didn't get double points and to avoid any further confusion I've now taken the armband off Carrasco but basically when a player is going to be made captain and eligible for double points in that game I will tell you before the game and then try and remember to give him the captain's armband in our squad as well that way you'll know who's going to be captain for that game because I'll tell you before the game starts and you'll know when they get double points and of course in the last episode we won the series opener by four goals to one Carrasco and the anchor combined for a total of 13 points. That meant we were two points shy of being able to buy a new silver player to our squad, but we can buy a new bronze player as we just need 10 points plus for that. So I'm going to exercise that right straight away in today's episode, bringing a new player to our squad to give Niang some more chemistry. Cooley Bali, a left winger that plays in Ligue 1. He's French. That will help for Niang's chemistry. Get him up to six, I think it is. And that'll be really, really important because right now I think he's on three and that's just terrible. And in today's episode, you're going to see three more games with our team. Hopefully, we can get ourselves promoted to Division 9 in today's episode. We need three wins from three to do that, though, and go up with a title with 12 points. Let's get straight down to it and build on from the first win in the first episode. And also, in the first game of today's episode, what I'm going to do is make Mbai Niang our captain as well. So this time, I've remembered to change the player role and give him the captain's armband in-game. And he'll be the first player out of the two to wear the captain's armband in this series and be a legend for double points. So pre-game, every time I make someone captain, I will let you know to clear up any kind of confusion. So in this one, Niang can get double points for anything he scores today, and hopefully he does quite well, and maybe we can break into the 15 plus point mark for the first time in the series. And my opponent has a full Icelandic squad as well, which is kind of interesting because if he scores a goal, I think we might get to hear the chant that he have added into the game. The one where the fans clap their hands together and go, Hoo! like that, you know, it's the one they did in the Euros after the games. They, they clap their hands together and go, Hoo! like that. I mean, I, I don't think that's exactly how it sounded, but you know what I mean. So away we go then. First game of the episode against the full Icelandic team. How will we do? Here's Niang wearing the armband today, offloading towards Carrasco down the right hand side. Niang continues his run here. You know what I'm trying to do? Get the ball to Niang, but instead Carrasco's going through all the way to score. Great save by the goalkeeper. We should turn it in and do, and the perfect start. Just two minutes in, we have the lead. Oh, my opponent's just giving the ball straight to Niang here, and Niang turns his man. Can he get a shot away? And by Niang goes for goal and finds the back of the net. And that's not just four points for Niang, it's eight points because of the captain's armband. And that is fantastic to see. So Niang already up to eight points because of the captain's armband. That is fantastic. And can he get another goal here or possibly an assist? Well, that's a good ball through towards Castillo, who's round his man and goes for goal. And it's 3 0. Two goals in quick succession. A goal and an assist for Niang. And we could be set for a load of points in this one. Obviously, in Division 10, you kind of have to expect that you're probably going to win the first few games. But you never know. Sometimes the nerves can get the better of you. But in this game, we are just on top and cruising. This is really good football. Niang could be through here. Niang could be through. Niang could be through to get his second goal of the game. Get it. And Bai Niang scores again. It's his second goal. He's got an assist as well. I'm trying to do my maths, but I think right now he's up to... Oh, God, this is going to be awful. Is it? Is it 14 points? I think it is. Niang gets his second of the game, though. That's fantastic. With four goals up already. And this game is already in the bag. Cooley Bali through towards Niang. Oh, lovely piece of skill by and by Niang. What else do you expect from the West Brom, PSG and Arsenal legend? And by Niang cutting inside. Quick little dummy and goes for goal. And there is the hat-trick. And by Niang gets his third of the game. What a first half and what a decision to make him skipper in the first game of today's episode. A hat-trick and assist in the first half. This has been a glut. Dio through towards Gape and Niang could be through for a fourth goal here as Niang gets onto the ball. He's got a man coming across. I'll try and beat him with the skills. Niang, Niang, Niang. Oh, please. Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. 
And that is that, 5-0 the final score, all the goals coming in the first half, a hat-trick for the captain and Brian Yang and an assist as well. We've guaranteed a goal player, I know that's for sure, but now let's dish out the points and see who got what. So just a one point for Carrasco in this game then, no goals, no assists, not a high enough rating, but we did keep a clean sheet, so he gets that one little bonus point. But for Mbai Niang, talk about a captain's performance, a perfect 10 for the French striker, as he scored a hat-trick and got an assist as well. So ordinarily that would wield him 16 points, 12 for the three goals he scored, 3 for the assist he got, and of course the bonus point for the rating as well, but as he was captain, those points get doubled, and he gets 30 two points for the game, the highest so far of the series for one individual game. And of course, that means as well, despite Carrasco only picking up one point in this game, those points combined mean that we get to 33 in total, and we can buy a new goal player for the side just two games in. What a decision to make him skipper. All right, so now we're going into the second game of today's episode. Not going to buy that gold player just yet. Hold on to the coins for the time being and try and build them up. And uh, also as well, one brief thing to mention. I think my microphone might have been a little bit messed up in the first game. So if it didn't sound too well, sorry about that, but it should be fixed now. And if it's not fixed, then I'm kind of screwed because this is the only microphone I have left right now. And I don't really have the money to buy a new one. And as we do go into the second game of today's episode, guys, Brian Carrasco is going to be the captain for the game as well. So he'll wear the armband like he did in game one, but for this one, he will get double points. Alright, and this is my opponent's team for the second game. As you can see, there's a couple of familiar faces in there, including Jesse Lingard on the right-hand side of midfield, but not too much chemistry and not too threatening. Only three goal players. I think I should be able to beat it. Niang flicks the ball on towards Carrasco and a chance here early on for captain Brian Carrasco to make it 1-0. Surely Brian finds the... No, he doesn't. Oh, wow. I was about to say he found the back of the net and I put it into the side netting. But my opponent's just got a man sent off, and he's down to 10 men, and we've won ourselves a penalty. Silver lining and all that, didn't notice it at first, but uh, yes, my opponent slid in from behind, and I guess that's what put Brian off. So uh, we scored a penalty with Carrasco in the first game. Can we score one in this one? No, we can't, because I'm rubbish at penalties in FIFA 17. Well, that's always a quick free kick, which we take quickly as Gapes on the ball, feeds it through towards Niang, surely to make it 1-0 and settle some nerves, good save with the goalkeeper, but we'll turn in the rebound, and there's the first goal of the game, and that really does make me feel a lot less anxious. I've got to say, I'm quite disappointed in myself in the first half for not settling the game already, because we've got a man advantage, I played better, but couldn't finish more than once as Carrasco goes on a run here, straight from kickoff, and could make it two, and does as well, how about that? Fantastic curse of the commentator, the anti-jinx working, Carrasco gets the goal I wanted, and we scored directly from kickoff. I almost gave the ball away, but got it back, and the shot took a huge deflection off the defender, didn't see that at first. It will go down as Carrasco's goal, and no it won't, oh my word, that shot was on target. I thought for sure that will count as Carrasco's goal, it doesn't, that is such a shame. Here's Castillo on the ball, has Koulibaly out wide, gives it to him, Koulibaly back inside, come on Carrasco, where are you? Carrasco, where are you? Well, it'll have to go down as a goal for Niang instead, I wanted to find Brian, but Niang will take the goal for us, and we'll still get those points, despite them not being double, because Carrasco still hasn't scored. Oh, and Niang's just got an injury as well, I know injuries can force players off in this year's ultimate team, that is so frustrating. Well, Carrasco still yet to get a goal or an assist on his debut. So frustrated. He'll get the bonus point for the clean sheet, but doesn't do a lot. But as he wins the ball back here, maybe this is the moment. Maybe this is the moment. Obviously not. But he wins it back again. Carrasco on the ball with a fake shot. Then a heel to heel flick. No touch dribble to take it round one and take it round two and take it round three. And still Carrasco. Oh, for God's sake. Listen, bro, this is my series, all right? I need to get Carrasco a goal here. Castillo plays a 1-2 with Gabe. It's not Castillo. I want to score the goal, though. I don't care about these guys. It's only Carrasco I want to score the goal. For God's sake, Brian, where are you? Put the boy in the back of the net. Oh, for God's sake, that's going to be another own goal. That's the second time Brian has put the boy in the back of the net. The shot's been on target. But you just know that's going to go down as an own goal as well. That was going into the bottom corner. But that will go down as a Lingard own goal. I know that's going to go down as a Lingard own goal. Well, my opponents quit. No real surprise about that at all, but that's going to go down as a Lingard own goal. That's two own goals and no assists in that game for Brian. Brian doesn't score or get an assist in that game. I can't believe it. 
I made him captain, he found the back of the net twice, but the first one was for a deflection which was on target, and the second one was for a failed clearance which was also on target, but the game doesn't give him a goal for either, so no goals or assists for Carrasco, but we did keep a clean sheet, he did get a 9.0 rating, so 2 points for that, and the bonus means they get doubled, and he gets 4 points, so could have been a lot better, but uh, at least he gets something. But for Niang, despite the injury, he did get 9 points in this one, 8 points for the 2 goals he scored, and also the bonus for the 9.0 plus rating as well so that's a frustrating game we got the win I'm pleased with it and everything but uh, that should have been a lot lot better and we should have got a lot more points on board and let's go ahead and take a look at Niang's injury as well it is a four game knee injury for god's sake I mean this is all we need this series is called Carrasco v Niang not Carrasco v Croc Niang for god's sake and although in these two games we've earned ourselves enough points to buy ourselves a new gold player and a new bronze player as well, we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to wait until the end of the season before we buy a new player. And what we're going to do is play our third and final game of today's episode and hopefully get the win that will secure the title four games in. And due to that injury to Niang in the last game and also Carrasco and the rest of the boys being a little bit tired right now, for the fourth game of the season, which could potentially be the final one as well, I'm going to rest the entire side because we've already guaranteed promotion and we just need one win from our final six games to go ahead and lift the title. So we'll rest the players for this game and it won't count towards Carrasco and Niang's stats, but hopefully we'll still get the win regardless and get ourselves the three points. And this is my opponent's team for the game as well. He's got a lone Julio Cesar in goal. He's got Gomez at left back as well. But another team which I think I should be able to beat despite using a backup side. And let's get ourselves up to Division 9 in today's episode with the Division 10 title. And here's a first chance straight away for us. A quick little ball by Ache finds Kazuba. who could be through to shoot and make it 1-0. And what a start that is. Two minutes in, we already have the lead. Who needs Carrasco? Who needs Niang? We've got this geezer up top and he's firing him in already. And here could be a chance on the break here. Gabuza, the goal scorer through towards Kim Jong-guk and he'll try and play it back towards Rennie down the right hand side great chance here man in the area I'll try and find him it could come to actually at the far post I mean what the hell is that come on let's go on the break Kim Jong-guk on the ball he's got a man down the right hand side in Gabuza good little ball to him he scored our first goal can he get our second Gabuza on the ball keeps on running and shoots and that is terrible Oh, my opponent's just scored as well. It's 1-1. He sweated the ball across the face to go with Ward. Finds Kashket, and he's pegged me back. He played it out wide towards Ward, who bared down on goal, cut it across the face, and Kashket is there to turn it in. I can't believe it. Come on, for God's sake. Four minutes after the restart, but I'm already feeling under pressure with the game being at 1-1. I can't afford to not win this game. I mean, I say that, of course, I can afford not to win this game. I've got plenty of time to get through to Division 9, for God's sake. But I want to do it after four games. Keep the 100% start alive as Kim Jong-guk plays it through towards Gabuza. Oh, come on, mate. Offload, offload, offload. Keep on going, Gabuza. Surely, surely, surely. What a save by Cesar. Don't know why I said offload there. That made no sense. Still, Raf with a corner. Swings it into the center. And the header goes just over the bar. Alright, it's going to fall to Ache, 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 surely this time, surely this time, surely this time, get in! 17 minutes to go and it's Faharols or Farnarols or someone who scores the goal and puts us back in front. Embarrassment, almost spared. We've got 16 minutes to go. Can we hold on this time? Oh wow, Ache just controlled that hoof ball forward by the goalkeeper. Through towards Faharols, that's what he's known as now. Down the left-hand side, tries to cut inside. Back towards Ache, it'll come towards Kim Jong-guk. Good football, good boost to secure the points. There we go, nerve settled, game over. Bring the push-ups out, show them biceps, son. We're getting the three points and we're going to Division 9. And it's all over then. The backup brigade get the job done. We did it the hard way. We were in front. We surrendered that lead. But two late goals mean that we do go up with the Division 10 title, maintain our 100% start. And from the next episode onwards, we'll be in Division 9. And of course, no Carrasco or Niang on the pitch. So no need to worry about who got what for points. But we do get a healthy helping of coins there. Uh, 2,475 in total as we get ourselves up to Division 9 with that Division 10 title. And it's great to maintain that winning start. And that will end the second episode of Carrasco v Niang. So a big thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed today's episode, then please do leave a like. Likes, of course, much appreciated. And they really help the channel grow as well. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic evening. And I'll see you for the next episode of Carrasco v Niang very soon.